What's up everyone? Welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Tom from Morton's on the Move and today I'm taking a look at the Chobo Baggins inflatable lounge chair. Stick around. So I'm chilling in the Chilbo Baggins lounge chair. As you can see, it is a kind of like a, a couch slash hammock. I like to think of this as sort of like a hammock without needing trees or any supports to set it up. It is full of air. It's kind of this U-shaped thing that you fill up with air and it's super comfortable. It's made from this rip-stop nylon fabric. Uh, so it's pretty durable, although you're still not going to want to have it on really sharp rocks or anything sharp in your pocket when using this. Uh, it also has these nice pockets on the side, so you can set your book or your glasses or whatever the heck in there as well. What makes this thing so great for travel is it is super comfortable and it folds up super small. I'm going to show you. So this is it all folded up. As you can see, it is really small and this will fit just about anywhere in our RV. It weighs only three pounds. It's about 13 inches tall, about seven and a half inches wide and uh, three to six inches deep, depending on how you pack it in the included bag it comes with. In the bag, it's got this pocket on the front that it also comes with a stake. Because this thing is really light, if you set it up in windy conditions, it'll blow away on you. So you stake it down and clip it down so that it's not gonna blow away on you. Included with the bag is also a little repair kit in case you accidentally do puncture it. Again, keep sharp objects away from this thing though. This thing comes in a variety of different colors. We have the camouflage version here, which is camouflage with the bright orange pouches on it. And incredibly, this little three pound chair can support up to 400 pounds. That weight capacity means that this could also support more than one person. So you're probably wondering how you actually set this thing up. Well, that's actually part of the beauty of this. There is no pump required. This is all you need to set this thing up. Pulling it back out of the bag, you'll see that it's, it's kind of like a big dry bag, actually. It's got the bag itself and these sort of stiff edges. You unclip it and the bag is gonna unroll. You're gonna see that it has these stiff edges and on the inside, you're gonna see this plastic material and this is actually what holds the air. So you're gonna wanna be careful not to damage this. You're gonna see two pouches. There's basically uh, this pouch the middle section is nothing. It actually is just a hole. And then the other pouch is the other piece of this. It's basically a big U shape. It zips around in a U and comes back from one side to the other. Inflating this can be a bit of a trick when you first learn. If you go on Chilbo Baggins website, they've got some instructions on how to and how not to inflate this thing. Uh, you could definitely look kind of silly the first time you try it if you're just running around in circles trying to get it full of air. But with a little bit of practice, it's really not hard to get this thing inflated. The basic technique is opening it up and scooping it into the air. Once you've got it about 50 to 70% full of air, you take these corners here and you start rolling it just like a dry bag. As you roll it, it's going to get more and more taut as the air gets squeezed into the bag. Once it's nice and tight, you take these two clips that are in a ring and you bring them together and you make sure they snap into place. And that's it. That's all that's required for this thing to hold air. One thing you got to be careful of is that make sure this thing is fully clipped, however. I had this one time not quite go in properly, and the second I sat down on this chair, poof, fell right down on the ground. So you can use this chair in two directions. You can use it in the upright position like it currently is, and you'll see that there's this mesh material in here that's more towards the top of the chair. And this is gonna keep you up on top of it in a really comfortable position. This is great for one person. You'll see that it has a pocket here that can be used from this position, but on the other side, there's another pocket here that is not usable from this direction. It's usable from the other direction if the chair is flipped over. In this position, you'll see that the fabric is a lot deeper and this is a really great position for using it for two people because you can kind of sit into it and as the air tightens up with more mass, more 
bodies in there, it's much more comfortable for two people. Another neat feature of this thing is that you can use it as a float. You can use it on the water. This is not something we've tried out, but Chobo Baggins actually says that it can be used on water. It can be used on rivers, in pools, not really designed for uh, high seas, big waves, things like that, but it is safe to be used on the water. Overall, I really love this thing. It is super comfortable. I have taken many a nap in this thing. It has traveled many different places with this, and it's just, it's such a comfortable chair to have wherever you are. I love the ease of use of this thing. I think overall, it's a relatively durable unit. We haven't had any trouble with it, and the size is incredible. When it folds down, it's so lightweight and takes up so little space for such a comfortable chair. A few cons I found of this thing, uh, if I'm laying in it without a shirt on or something at the beach if it's a hot day this is not really a super breathable fabric with that plastic inside to hold the air I find I kind of stick to it uh, but wearing a shirt or something it's usually very comfortable there was definitely a learning curve to learning to fill this thing up with air um, you're definitely gonna look like a dog chasing its tail when you first try to set this thing up but once you get it figured out it's really not that bad as this thing is so lightweight it also is very susceptible to wind so you're gonna want to make sure that you tie it down if you're in windy situations or even if you're not because the wind might come up and take your chair away and also think about any sharp objects that might be around it that it could blow into so you can pick these chairs up on Amazon for $50 or less. I think that this is a really great product for that price. I really wanted to have a portable hammock, but I so infrequently have a place to hang it that this really fills that need well. So this has been my thoughts and review on the Chobo Baggins inflatable lounge chair. Thank you so much for watching Road Gear Reviews. We'll see you next time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel for weekly uploads of our travel product reviews.